Hey guys! Today we're going to talk about a new product from SwitchBot which is going to help you to automate your Venetian blinds. And we're talking about the SwitchBot Blind Tilt. Okay, this is not how you automate your blinds. This is how you automate your teeth. This is how you automate your blinds. It's official. I ran out of windows to automate. Every single windows, apart from the conservatory windows, had been automated and I really needed to come up with creative ways of actually using this. So I've ordered some blinds, installed them, and I could actually automate them using SwitchBot Blind Tilt. So what is Blind Tilt? How do you use it? And does it really look like a toothbrush? Just like other SwitchBot devices, the principle is simple. You've got a device which essentially is a motor of some sort. It will imitate the movements that you would do to automate your blinds and, in this case, change the angle of your Venetian slates. It's a great concept. It's a great concept because these blinds are quite popular, especially in the UK. Uh, however, once I started to dig a little bit deeper, I've discovered a couple of uh, problems with this idea. After browsing online shop, which would cut the blinds to my window, I quickly discovered that the actual blinds I could are I quickly discovered that the actual blinds that I could automate with SwitchBot Blind Tilt are the Venetian ones only, because they come with this specific rod to turn the angle of individual slates. For some reason, all my favorite options, for example wooden slats, they come with a pull cord to change the angle and unfortunately you can't do it with this device. You can only rely on automating uh, blinds that come with that specific rod that you have to turn left and right to adjust the angle. So yes, you're gonna be limited to what kind of blinds you can automate, especially that you cannot pull them up and down because SwitchBot Blind Tilt only allows you to control the, well, as the name suggests, the tilt of your blinds. When I initially opened the box, I kind of started to scratch my head because there's a lot of things inside and it seems like complicated and for a second I thought it's gonna take me ages to figure out what's what and how to install it properly and well I'm getting ahead of myself actually it wasn't. Half of the stuff that is already in a box you're probably not going to use it because those adapters for different sizes etc and the installation literally takes approximately three minutes. And as it's switch, but you can rely on one thing that is non-invasive either. Everything works with a piece of 3M tape and you'll be able to remove that automation when you, for example, changing your rentals. This weird thing, it's a device that has a motor inside a battery, USB Type-C connector and a button to reset it. Just like other SwitchBot devices, it works with Bluetooth, which is great because Bluetooth will transition nicely to matter in the future. We're gonna talk about that as well soon in upcoming video. But if you want to get the cloud connectivity, you'd have to have a SwitchBot hub, which will connect this to a cloud and allow the access from whenever you are in the world. Inside the box, you'll find a bunch of accessories, including a solar panel, which you can stick to the window and make sure that your blind tilt is constantly charged. And even in the UK during the winter time, I was actually seeing a positive charge on my device, despite using the blinds in the morning and in the evening to adjust the angle. So yay, win for me. There are a couple of different adapters which you can use to affix your motor to the top of the blind. Uh, be sure to use the one that uh, gives you the best uh, adhesion. So check M3 tape and which size fits your blinds and you'll be able to, you know, fit it in a place and start using it. But first you have to measure the circumference of your rod and there is a nice small template provided that you can wrap around it and it will tell you which adapter you should use to be able to rotate your rod. And here comes a small tip from me. Use a pen or similar to mark out where you want to wrap this adapter because once you kind of wrap it around, it uses uh, 3M tape, it's gonna be very very sticky and difficult to remove so you don't want to get it wrong. But don't worry, you don't have to be perfect because those adapters that you're going to use to mount this tilt motor, they have a little bit of play so you can regulate how high they go. Honestly, after a couple of seconds of scratching my head, I will install this without any problems within three minutes. 
Now, pairing, as usual, with SwitchBot devices is a breeze. The device is discovered by Bluetooth app immediately, and I was able to start a calibration process. And please make sure you read the instructions correctly. Don't be like me, I've misread some of the calibration instructions, and when the instructions were prompting me to actually move the blinds up, all the way up to close the app, because you'll be able to close them down, close them up, or just keep them anyway in between, I've misread this part and did the opposite thing, which resulted in me, well, having the blinds not working very well. But once I've recalibrated it, I had no problem whatsoever, and I was able to open the app interface and start tweaking the angle of my Venetian blinds. Very, very exciting. You'll notice that inside the app there are very pleasant animations for this device, I really like it. You can quickly set uh, your blinds to preferred positions, either fully open or drawn down or drawn up, depending on how you want to prevent the sun from getting in. But there are also a couple of other things that you can set. You obviously know about the timers, schedules and automations that you can use to trigger other devices. For example, you can use a remote button to trigger them manually and stick that remote somewhere near the entry. But one of the things that I've discovered later on is the fact that this device actually has a light sensor on it. Now, I take a small problem with this because the light sensor in the default orientation will face towards inside of the room, which makes it slightly less useful, especially if the blinds are closed. So personally, I would put the light sensor on the attached solar panel, so that way you can use the sunlight from outside to regulate the blinds. But with a combination of light values and the timers, you should be able to figure out quite interesting automation to control how much your blinds are open. It will take a couple of moments to articulate your blinds fully. However, I've got very good news. These are actually pretty quiet. It's the second quietest uh, um, window automation device I've got in my house, with the first being motorized slider from the Zemismart. In this video, I've reviewed it. If I'm outside of the room, I can't even hear it. Obviously, if, they, if you are in the same room, you will be able to hear the noise of the motor running for a couple of seconds. But honestly, it's nothing excessive and you can decrease it even further if you switch from a performance mode to a silent mode. Price-wise, they will cost you around $99 before the promotion, so it puts them on pair with SwitchBot curtains. I already covered SwitchBot curtains in this video, so go and check it out. However, there are a couple of promotions that are upcoming, and this video should be released timely according to these promotions, so you can get one of these motors for $69.99 on Amazon, that's US dollars. So if you are interested, and if you have blinds that you can automate, the one with the rods, then yeah, go ahead and get yourself a SwitchBot blind tilt. Otherwise, well, if you don't have compatible blinds, you can always use it as a toothbrush. In the description of this video, you're gonna find a link to the product itself, current promotions, and a couple of other information that probably is just worth of your time. As for now, guys, let me know if you have any questions, uh, suggestions, and, as always, I don't have a posting schedule, you know how YouTube works, I don't have to explain you all this, I have a couple of social media links listed down below, so do check it out. So, big thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. Bene... Bene... Be I can't pronounce this! Venetian... Venetian... However, once I started to dig a little bit thicker, <laughs> now, this has four different sizes that you can actually... Mm, I don't know that. I didn't ask you for opinion.